On the next to last practice of spring, the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers finally got a warm sunny day on the teal turf. It really uh, uplifted, I think, our spirits. For most practices, conditions were cold or wet or both. We can find a way to push through that. I think that's important. So I think it's a benefit to us. The 2020 season was the most successful in school history, and because of COVID, the shots will be nearly intact this fall. Normally you, you're losing your seniors and you got all the guys that are practicing right now are you know, fighting for that playing time. And so having the majority of your team back obviously raises your expectations. We got 20 out of 22 starters coming back. Majority of the old players are back. We got some, uh, some new guys up. We just, we're just ready to fight. Over a dozen super seniors will return for their fifth or sixth year. We're building something really cool here. Like I, I love my brothers, my teammates, been around them for five years. So it was just, I guess, the love for that and, and wanting to get another championship. This spring, younger guys got most of the reps. It's been fun to watch them grow. And you know, spring's, spring's a very important thing for young players. You can just tell guys are hungry to, to get out there, compete. Uh, everybody's playing disciplined football. So that's exciting to see. Spring is when the groundwork is laid for success in the fall. There are 15 practice sessions to get it done. We have limited opportunities, but we have 15 great opportunities. So get out there and get better every single day. All right, we're never going to be perfect, but we want to be as close to perfect as we can by attacking it every day. Coastal finished 11 and one and ranked 14th in the final AP college football poll. An overtime loss in the Cure Bowl, keeping the Chanticleers from an undefeated season. We talked a lot about uh, having the opportunity to be a championship top team, and we started that when we weren't very good. It was very rewarding to be able to see all the work that went in for us to continue to advance and then finally put it all together last year. But again, you look at the film and you're like, we're not done. We're, we're, we're not close. We got to get better. And that's our focus all spring. There is confidence that the momentum will continue. We plan on being a better team than we were last year. The expectation for the team is to go 12-0 and, and win a bowl game. Now that we've gotten a taste for success, I think guys are starting to really buy into that. And they're seeing like, hey, when you do these little things, you're successful. The 2020 season was a turning point for CCU's football program. Externally, I think it was a huge deal because a, a lot of people didn't think highly of us and, and our program. For what we were able to do, what we were able to accomplish, and the way we accomplished it, I, I think more eyes have come on the, how serious we are about football here. Already, the impact is being seen in recruiting. We can go up into the Northeast and there's a name recognition. We can go even into the, you know, in the Midwest, there's a name recognition. And our challenge is making sure we still get the right type of young man that values what we value. Coastal is scheduled to open the 2021 season at home on September 4th against the Citadel.